Hello, I'm Chris Menard. In today's Outlook video, I'm going to show you five cool tips dealing with your inbox to help you save time. Before I start, one of my new shirts is available on Redbubble right here. But let's get started with these five inbox tips. Tip number one, I'm on my inbox and the inbox says all and next to it is a tab called unread. That really doesn't do me a whole lot of good. So go to the view tab up at the top and turn on the focused inbox. So now instead of all and unread, it says focused and it says other. I do this at work all the time. Focused is your emails that are the most important. Other are emails that it threw over here based on artificial intelligence. But let's say that this very first one from Costco needs to be on focused. I can move it to focused here. That'll move just that one. But below it, it says always move to focus. So it'll always take those emails and put them under focus. I'm just going to click on move to focus to show you this one. Back to focus. And there's the one from Costco. Tip number two, when you get an email in your inbox, and it really is a meeting invite, I'm going to open up this email that says new insurance is the subject. And when you're looking at this email, right up here, it says meeting. There's the email down here in the body and I say sure meeting. New insurance is the subject. It puts in the person that sent it to me over here. Just go pick a date and time. I can't remember what it said. I guess I could read down there and see. For training purposes, I'm just going to pick something and hit send. There we go. Tip number three, the same thing applies. If you get an email and that email, let's say that email is from your boss and it has to do with, can you do something this Friday? We've got a hard deadline of 11 a.m. So that is a task for you to do. So instead of dra drag into your calendar, because I could have dragged that last email to my calendar. I'm just going to drag this over to my task over here to the left. In case you're wondering, I'm on the latest Outlook version and my icons are up in the top left. Yours are in the bottom left still, but soon they'll be up in the top left. Not a problem, but just drag it over here. And it changes that email into a task. And I think I said Friday at, I forgot, 10 o'clock. It doesn't matter. But there you go, Friday, save and close. And now you have a task from an email. Tip number four, you got an email and you need to share it with your team. You're using Microsoft Teams. There is share to Teams right here. And you can decide to share it to a channel within a team. You can actually also share this to a chat, whether it's a one-on-one -on -one chat or a group chat, you can share an email to Teams. Cool feature. I do that a lot at work too. And tip number five, you get a really long email to read. Let me find one here. I'm up on the search bar. I've got this email, I just opened it. It says budget meeting for project one. I like this email is really long. Feel free to turn on when you're in here the immersive reader right here. Click it once. There is the email with extra spacing. You can read it aloud. You can throw syllables in between the words. You can also change the text spacing. You can do a line focus. I'm going to pick three lines. This is pretty cool. So now when I scroll down, I am only looking at three lines at one time. So that is line focus. You can change the page color and you can adjust the column width with the immersive reader right there. I'm going to close it. The immersive reader is also in Microsoft Word, just so you know that. Those are the five tips I've got for dealing with your inbox. I try to keep this really short and to the point. Let me know if you have any comments or additional tips. I didn't list all the tips I have. Appreciate your time. Feel free to subscribe and have a wonderful day. Thank you.